going to refinish this remove panelling. This has got some quite poor varnish on it, lumpy, not looking very good. The first thing we do is take off the beading and all these detailed pieces of timber. Try and lever these off very carefully so you don't break them. Just gently pull, release each nail at a time, and then put away the each separate piece of wood as you remove it. Now we've got the surface flat. We remove all of those. Now here we're using a very thin paint stripper. And this can be painted onto the wood just like that. Now you can get different kinds of paint stripper. Some are thick, some are very thin, and different paint strippers will work better uh, on different surfaces and when you've got different paints on it. And I find that this very thin paint stripper works well on large areas of wood like this. It's a fairly simple finish, it's just the shellac that was originally on there and then some varnish over the top of it. With a finish like this, it should come off pretty quickly, uh, pretty completely. I find with this kind of finish, it's best to get most of it off. The first go, like this, with a scraper. Almost all of it will come off straight away. And then to go over again with a second coat to get every single piece off. When you're stripping paint, sometimes it's better to put one thicker coat on and leave it for 10 minutes, 5 10 minutes. You'll have to try on the particular finish you've got and see what ends up being the best way. I say I like doing one quick coat like this and then a second coat to get all the final pieces off. With the paint stripper don't let it dry because it'll all stick back together again. So I do one section at a time. Here I'm doing two panels. Get everywhere nice and wet. And then with a clean scraper, you can scrape all of the rest off in one of them. So there's enough time to do two panels at once, gives each panel time to work. Now there's just a very tiny amount left, and so we use some very fine steel wool and methylated spirits. This is not Mr. Muscle, this is methylated spirits in a spray bottle. You spray meths on, wipe it off with the steel wool, the steel wool will scrub and collect all the remaining bits of paint stripper and varnish. And it also allows you to get into corners. Right in that corner where the muck collects, you can scrape that out. And then I get a clean cloth. Spray one more go of the mess over the top and wipe it down. That leaves the surface absolutely clean, ready to be finished. Now uh, we've stripped and reassembled all the wall and to get rid of any final marks or marks that have got on it since we're using furniture cleaner. This is a very strong solvent. It will clean off any grease, muck, oils left behind on the timber and it will dry very very quickly. Make sure you have plenty of ventilation when you're using this. It's not absolutely necessary to use this, but it allows you to get rid of any final marks 
get the surface completely clean. Also use this if you've got new timber. Now we apply the wax. Now don't apply too much, that's the trick. We're using more fine steel wool and just rubbing the wax on into the corners, spreading it out. You can always put a bit more on later, but we get the most phone calls about putting too much wax on and then you can't buff it up. After a few minutes the wax will start to harden and you use a shoe brush just to buff up the finish and to spread it out, uh, even out any lumps or bits you left behind. So just do a panel for about five minutes, then buff it up. Once you've finished, maybe a little later, any time later, buff up the whole surface with a clean cloth to get the final sheen. One final thing to do is fix the nail holes. You use the wax stick, this is the rustic brown, which matches Rimu. Squeeze it in with the spatula and then scrape the excess off the top and just buff up the finish or blend in with the rest of the wax. And the nail holes will disappear. We can do the same thing with these ugly holes in the middle of the panel, somewhere that uh, obviously someone has been hanging paintings in the past. Fill them with the wax stick, scrape it off and then buff up the surface with the same sheen as the rest of the wax. All done!